Hello guys, Colin here. If we pluck a guitar string, let's take our open A string for example, then it will produce a note whose pitch we observe as an A. If we then place our finger lightly above the 12th fret and pluck again, you'll notice we still observe an A note, but it sounds different. Not only is it an octave higher than our open string, but the tone of the note is more singing and bell-like. These type of notes are called natural harmonics in musical terminology. If you are familiar with playing them, you'll know that they can only be achieved at a few very specific locations upon the string. Trying to induce a natural harmonic at the wrong location will kill the string vibration dead. So what's going on here? Well, if we think back to the physics of a guitar string video, you'll remember that a string fixed at both ends can vibrate in a number of different vibrational modes that we call harmonics. The fundamental determines the pitch we observe the note to be. It is the strongest and most influential of all the vibrational modes. The string doesn't simply vibrate in only the fundamental, but also in many of the other harmonics, with decreasing influence as the harmonic number n increases. But let's get back to natural harmonics. An ideal open string could theoretically vibrate in all of the following modes, with n increasing onwards. Each mode relates to a frequency which all combine to create the final string tonality. But if we place our finger lightly above the 12th fret, which represents the middle of our guitar string, then what we have done is introduce an additional node point. We have prevented the string from vibrating at the point of contact. This reduces the number of harmonics available for the string to vibrate in. From all the possible modes available to an open string, we eliminate any that don't have a node point in the middle. Most importantly, this eradicates the fundamental, leaving the second order harmonic as the most influential. This explains why the pitch of the 12th fret harmonic is an octave above the open string, despite the whole string vibrating. The frequency of n equals 2 is twice the fundamental, and doubling the frequency raises the pitch by an octave. By preventing any harmonic which doesn't have a node point at the centre of the string, we significantly reduce the number of observable frequencies the string can vibrate in. This reduces the complex superposition of frequencies to something much simpler, bringing it closer to a pure sine wave of dominant frequency dictated by n equals 2. So when playing a natural harmonic, the reduction of harmonic frequencies compared to the open string results in a purer tone. If we consider our A string and assume that the open A frequency is 110 Hz, then at the 12th fret harmonic, n equals 2 dominates providing an octave above the open string an A note at 220 Hz. At the 7th fret, N equals 3 provides the perfect 5th, an E note at around 330 Hz. At the 5th fret, N equals 4 gives the 2nd octave, an A at 440 Hz, and just below the 4th fret, N equals 5 gives us the major 3rd, a C sharp note at around 550 Hz. This is an incredibly musical arrangement of frequencies accomplished simply by preventing the string from vibrating at integer divisions along its length. To get back to why natural harmonics can only occur at very specific locations, let's consider an example where a string can only vibrate in the following modes. Placing a node point at any of these positions will result in a natural harmonic as there is at least one vibrational frequency with a matching node point. However, if we introduce a node point here, we can see that none of the vibrational modes have a matching node point, meaning the string cannot vibrate in any frequency and the note cannot sound. Of course, this is not the only way to invoke harmonics on a stringed instrument. Artificial harmonics are harmonics performed on a fretted note. Pinched harmonics are ones generated by the thumb touching the string immediately after picking. Tapped harmonics introduce a node point by percussively tapping the string, and it's even possible to magnetically induce harmonics with a device like this. Within all of these, the same physics applies. A node point is introduced at an integer divisor of the string length, generating a high-pitched note comprising of higher order harmonics and lacking the fundamental frequency. And if you've liked this video and you want to see more content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button, which will notify you of all new content as it comes out. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff. T-shirts, as always, are available, and there's other videos you may not have seen. But that's all for now, guys. Keep it loud, and I'll see you later.